All right, just set up the camera for a quick demo of attempting to repair this oscilloscope. Um, there we go. It apparently has some issue with the screen, and it has a sticker that says broken screen on it. School trying to get rid of it. Oh, did that just fix it? Let's see. Nope, it didn't. All right, I have just taken out the screws and the rubber foot right here. And I'll see if I can take the front cover off if there's no more screws. Oops. As you can see, this is my first time attempting this. Not the most elegant, but there we go. It does come out rather decently. The power button seems to be in the way. Press it in. Oh. Still works. All right, I don't know where the button went, but oh, there it is. Looks like I just snapped it. There we go. Should go back rather easily. And let's see what's up with the screen. The connector looks fine. Very interesting battery. Stand. Um, making sure the connector is seated properly. care not to touch any potentially high voltage parts. I don't see any damage. It's a very tiny board. Those fins does not stand up straight, which make me think maybe it has been dropped or something. Okay, so before taking it apart any further, I'll power it up like this. So much slimmer. Plug thing. Let's see if it boots. This is not artifact, I can see the lines on the screen, so it's kind of weird. Maybe it's a module that has been damaged, instead of just a connector issue, which I really wish is just a connector issue. Um, let's power it up, like that. I might have to disassemble it further to see if I can find any additional issues. Doesn't look like there's a crack on it whatsoever. By the way, the reason why I'm attempting this first time shot um, is the screen has worked before, just like a day ago. And I'm assuming some physical connection issue because like vibration could cause the issue to appear or fix itself. I don't have the correct screwdriver. I do, but somebody borrowed it. <laughs> Gonna try it. Hopefully the front panel doesn't just fall apart. Doesn't look like I need to remove that screw. Try this one right here. 
Hammering the way is really difficult for this harder work. Let's just try it one last time, just in case something magical changed. No luck, it looks like. I might wait until I get my screwdriver back before continuing. Just so that I don't make the issue any worse than the way it is. There are screws in there. Before I can take the front panel off. Last moment close up shot. Power board. Seems like the entire data acquisition front end everything together sorry for the poor video quality and um, the screen I believe is on its own module there are definitely better tear down than this but just something quick <laughs> <laughs>